Okay, so the idea here is that different objects in any type can have templates. And this will be a shorter video just illustrating how we can use these templates to make things really effective and efficient in terms of making new objects and new nodes. Real quick, I'm on a bigger monitor, which is why the sizing is probably different. But with that being said, let's dive into it. From this homepage here, just as a reminder, if you're on, let's say, a set right here, and you want to get to your homepage, you can just click these four squares right up there, and I'll take you to the homepage. On the homepage, we can actually see a library of all of the different objects that we have. If we click on the square right here, it'll take us to our library. And up here, we can see we have types and relations. Now remember, relations are like tags. They're the kind of thing that are in different kinds of notes. So I can see height and all of the things that have you know, a height variable. But we're going to direct our attention here to types. Types are basically, as we talked about before, the way you describe what your note is. And so any type comes with a couple of presets. It also has a library of ones if you want to download them, but we're going to make a new one. So something that I'm lacking here is something that's simply just a class note. So the way we want to make a new one is simply go up to the search bar here and hit create new type. This will give us a new type, and this is the type interface. It'll show us what the recommended layout is, the relations that it might have, and then the objects of that type. So I'll type in class note, and then there's no templates. Now, in order to make a template, all you need to do is click this new button right here, and then enter what you want. So I might want to have you know, the title. This is an object type template, if you notice. So this will, this will be translated to class note the instant we make an actual class note note, if that makes any sense. So we'll just put a bar here and we'll leave it at that for now. Now we'll click out of that. Now if we go back to class note, we can see the template right here. This is pretty great because we'll have the name and then the note, but let's say we want to have what the class actually is. So we'll click on relation. We'll add a new relation that we'll call class, or just we'll just call it a class name. Select relation type, text, create. So now if we go back to the template, what we can do is you can type slash relation and then hit new relation. Now this won't create a new relation. This will search all of the relations that we have to insert here. So we'll do class name and that'll pop up right there. Obviously we're not gonna enter text because this is a template. But let's say we want another one. Let's say we want a new relation and we'll say we just want the due date if this is maybe homework. Now we can take the little three dots right here and move this over to the side right there. And now we can have both of these pieces of information side by side. Then we'll do another three lines and leave that there. Now, when I'm done with this template, I'll just click off of it and then go back to home. Now, let's say I want to use this class template. All I need to do is add a new object. I can search my types and go class note, just like that. And then I automatically have it all fill in. So maybe this is Java methods. This is a Java class and this is due. Well, it's automatically going to have a date that I can enter. We'll say it's due tomorrow. Now I can fill this note in as it would be here and all is well with the template. Now the only, the last thing that we can look at here is the way we use sets. And now we can make a set based off of that object type. So we'll just hit the plus button here. We'll say this is a set object type class note. And then we'll see all the class notes here. We'll just call this class note so we can easily find it. Click off of this. And then right here, we see all the class notes in this set. Last thing, if you want to have an emoji next to your type, just kind of how the movie has popcorn, book has a book, etc. You just go here, click the little C or whatever letter is right there, and then click on whatever emoji you want. I will use the papers right there, and there we go. So that's how you make your own type in any type and set up a basic template for that to be used. So now every time that you make a new note, you can just set, select my types, find the, the type that you want to use, and employ that on your notes.